you know, TV even business-wise. Yeah. And opportunities business-wise, oh yeah, for sure. So, so what do you think about the Montreal natural hair scene and what do you think could be improved? What could be changed, even though you've been here just for a few days? Um, you know what, I, I'm still like learning about the scene, to be honest. First of all, I didn't even, know that there, I didn't even realize there were so many black people in, in, <laughs> in Montreal. <laughs> I was like, yes, what, <laughs> what? I, I didn't know, but I'm just in awe. Yeah. I remember just like, you know, like seeing all these women walking on the guys, and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I'm getting good stuff like Chandy Bumps, you know, Rasta, like Afro, I'm like, yes. You know, I'm in heaven with it. I'm not familiar with the scene when it comes to natural hair mm -hmm. here in Montreal. Mm -hmm. But what I would say with this event is, um, I think it's a great event mm -hmm. that she's putting together and it's necessary because there is people like us everywhere in the world, yeah. in every country in the world. And um, it's important for us to have these types of avenues to like, you know, be able to learn about ourselves our, and how to take care of ourselves and, you know, just be more educated on like, you know, what we could do. And like, you know, not even just that, but also to support mm -hmm. um, each other. You know, yeah. and what we're, what, what we're about as a culture, you know what I mean? Okay. I think it's very important. You know, I commend her on this and I, you know, and I hope it continues. Um, I'm like, I'm a big supporter of it. I will be, you know, I will be You'll here. You'll be here next year? Be, <laughs> one in Toronto. Like, I'll be, yeah. Oh, for sure. And for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, man, for sure. <laughs> it's a great start. Yeah. And I hope it continues, mm. you know, because it's, it's very important because we have it very difficult. Um, I know in my world, as a model, as a, um, as a TV personality, Um, it's very difficult to be a naturalist, mm. you know, having Afro hair and, you know, having people tell me, oh, why don't you straighten it because it would be easy for me to manage. <laughs> and it's like, dude, it's not about you, it's about me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. But not only that, even if that's the case, even if that's what they want, as a, the client wants, they want me to have a certain look, right? They have to be knowledgeable in order to, like, like deal with that look, make exactly. that look happen mm. in a healthy way so that my hair don't fall off. Like, no offense to the weaves <laughs> and the perms, but I personally don't like weaves and perms. It's not my thing. Like, I, I do it once in a while, but this is not my thing. My other question here is, what do you think about women's image nowadays? What, what saddens me about a lot of women nowadays mm -hmm. and what they're doing to their image by conforming it in order to, like, you know, feel good about themselves, but they're conforming it in a very, conforming it in, in a way that is not a healthy way. Not at all. Like doing all these injections in their bodies to like, you know, you know, have the booty or have the boobies, mm. you know, or like, you know, the lips and all of that stuff. Like, like even this butt thing, like it's crazy. Yeah, it, like, it went viral. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's very sad. But again, that, that goes back to, it's up to the person to like, love themselves and have a strong sense of self in order for them to like you know just like enjoy what they got like you got to work with what you got mm -hmm. right if you want to be if you want to have like you know work on your shape do it in a natural healthy way mm -hmm. right eat good well exercise don't go put injections in your booty you know what i'm saying and in your <laughs> hips true. you know what i'm saying to like you know to have a, a certain kind type of, of look yeah you know what i mean to fit in yeah but again that that stems from lack of self-esteem totally right self-esteem is the beginning for yeah. like oh big time and everything. and this is coming from media mm. like what you want to be portrayed out there like to the masses to make us think that you have That's to look point. this way in order for you to you know, achieve what it is that you want to achieve totally. in life. No, that's not the case. That's my point. And that's the reason why I created my blog in the first place. Because I'm, when I look at the TV, when you watch everything on the media, it's just about being, uh, looking a certain way. And you see all the stars doing the same thing to look the same way. Yeah. It's just like, for a young girl who sees that, he's just, she's just going to feel like, yeah. this is the way I have to look. I have, I, I, I have a camp, right, that I put on for 30 young girls, mm -hmm. okay, every summer. A free two-week camp, fashion, arts, and entertainment camp, all about self-esteem, confidence. Mm -hmm. It's a, a part of my walk. It's my workshops. Mm -hmm. and it's called the walk, okay. right? And it's like it saddens me when some uh, when some of my my girls, they're like, oh, I gotta, you know, they don't want to wear their hair natural. Like there's a, a lot of black girls, they don't want to wear their hair natural because that's not what's being portrayed on television, yeah. in the media in the magazines, mm. right? Especially when they see a black girl, they don't see a black girl that looks like them. They see yeah. a black girl that looks closer to white. Mm -hmm. So what they're trying so what they try to do is they try to conform and look that way because they feel that if they were to change mm -hmm. that they're gonna get ahead. Yeah. Or like and make it like those are the those one or two girls mm. that they see in the magazines or on the television. Totally. And it's like pulling teeth to try to show them, no, you need to like really just 
be yourself and like you know enjoy what you got and make yeah. the best of what you got. Mm -hmm. You got great beautiful Afro hair. You got like great beautiful like dark skin. Totally. You know what I mean? Like own that. You know. Yeah. But it's 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 so hard. All yeah. that's being programmed in their head and in their mind every day, all day long. Yeah. Is you gotta be like this on re that reality show. You gotta look like that on that reality show. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. gotta be like that in in, in all, whatever fashion magazine. Yeah. You gotta. It's crazy. It is. Yeah. But again, it's like. It depends to who they have in their lives on a regular basis mm -hmm. to mentor them and to guide them. Yeah. You know what I mean? That would really make a difference. few words to inspire the woman that will be reading your article and listening to this video, watching this video actually. Uh, the few words that I would give them is, um, it's very important for you to love yourself, mm -hmm. right? Love and own who you are and accept and embrace who you are and what God has given you. It's very, very important. If you don't have that, Right? It's going to be very difficult for you because, you know, you're going to be easily swayed, right? Mm -hmm. So please, love you, own you, believe in you, right? And with that, you will go far, right? Nothing could stop you, nothing could deter you from being what the Most High, what God has in store, like has, has made you and created you to be, right? And what, and your blessings, your blessings would come in like it would just sh you, you would be showered with blessings like no tomorrow right but it's really important for you to love you right believe in yourself have a strong sense of self mm -hmm. and don't give up on you Jigen so. is about uh it's a community of women who inspire each other uh through their stories that's what you just did mm -hmm. with your uh, inspiring messages so welcome to the Jigen community uh, thank you. <laughs> it's nice meeting you all thank you